My name is Bill Berry, and I live next to the San Andreas Fault. Today I want to talk about the Indio Hills. The Indio Hills are a set of um, small mountains to the east of where I live, and I've had the opportunity to, to explore them quite extensively over the last couple of years. To me, they represent my first introduction to being so close to the fault line, and I thought I'd spend a little bit of time just uh, explaining using Google Earth and some of the photography that I've done over the last couple of years to give you a sense of uh, what the San Andreas Fault has done right next door to my home. So let's take a look at Google Earth here. I'm, uh, I'm at satellite level looking down at the uh, part of Southern California that includes all the way to Los Angeles, uh, down south almost to the Mexican border, actually to the Mexican border. And you can see right here that the Salton Sea um, is kind of the entrance to the Coachella Valley which flows up toward Palm Springs. I've uh, drawn a, a line, a red line here that shows the, where the San Andreas Fault actually er, comes out and is visible beginning at the Salton Sea. This fault actually goes all the way uh, uh, into Northern California. It's one of the largest faults in the world, and it's a great representation of where two tectonic plates have collided. The Pacific Plate, which is on this side of California, and the North American Plate, which is on this side of California. These tectonic plates have been in action for, for millions and millions of years. The most recent action, and, and, the, and what I want to talk about, is what the San Andreas Fault has done to create the mountains around the Coachella Valley, including the Indio Hills, which we're going to explore today. Um, but the fault erupts right out of the Salton Sea, right where my, my, this little hand is, and it runs right along the mountain line all the way up to a portion of a place called Brisca Palms. And at that place, the fault actually splits into two sections of the fault. One is called the Banning Fault, which is the green line here. And the other one is the Mission Springs Fault, which is the blue line. So let's zoom in a little and take a look at these hills. So these are the Indio Hills right here. And you can see the two portions of the fault line that are bo on both sides of the hills. And the cool part about this is you can go visit them and explore them and see all of the impact of the fault itself. So let's, um, let's change our perspective a bit. And we're going to look up the Coachella Valley. So here are the Indio Hills, uh, bounded on either side by the Banning Fault and the Mission Springs Fault. Both of these faults um, really represent uh, the San Andreas Fault in and of itself. And remember, we have the two continental plates, the Pacific Plate here and the North American Plate here. Um, I'm going to remove the lines so we can get a better view of the hills. And let's zoom in a little bit closer. So here are those Indio Hills. The first thing I want to show you is this Mission Springs side of the fault because from my home, which is right over here uh, in Rancho Mirage, you can drive across the valley very quickly and get to um, this road that goes through this pass between the hills. And right here is uh, where the um, Coachella Valley Preserve headquarters is, and it's a huge palm grove. The palm grove is a result of the springs that have occurred, uh, which have been created by the fault itself. But if you take a look at this line right here, you can see, just follow the line right here. You can actually see vegetation differences. You notice the color of the earth here compared to the color of the earth there. Let's zoom in a little bit closer. This is a great view of the, of the San Andreas Fault Line. We've driven through this, the town of Thousand Palms, taken this roadway right through here, and now we're looking right at the San Andreas Fault. And the water is a result of the collision of the two plates. The Pacific Plate here, which is moving in this direction, has moved heavy, 
heavy rock in front of the softer rock that's on this side of the North American plate. And, it, and it's created a dam which pushes water up and creates springs all through the Indio Hills. There are a number of palm tree, uh, palm groves that can be found uh, in the Indio Hills here. But take a look at this. This is the part that really is fascinating because right here you know that you're on that fault line. You could really consider this to be a fault scar. It's like a giant scar on the land and it's a result of the collision of those two plates. You know, all the mountains really around here are part of the mountain building that occurred when the two plates collided. And these little spots right here, these little horseshoes that you see, are all a result of this side of the earth moving that way, and then the water trying to find its way out and creating these little horseshoe canyons. It's very cool. I've explored all of the roads along here, driven up into these canyons um, and hiked all the way to the top of the hills where I've done drone photography and looked at both sides. And you can see the result of, the, of what the San Andreas Fault has done to create this kind of uh, movement in the Indio Hills. And so that's, that's my first look at um, the San Andreas Fault through the perspective of looking at the Indio Hills. When the weather is nice, it's really great to be able to, um, to be able to hike in these canyons and then explore all of these little side washes and narrow slot canyons that have occurred as a result of the erosion from um, heavy rains that wash the water down into the Coachella Valley and deposit all of the sand and debris down there. And early morning is really special uh, when you're out here. I drive my, I've driven my truck up each one of these canyons um, and explored all of them and, then, and hiked in most of them also. Matter of fact, there's a really cool slot canyon um, you actually park your truck right here and you hike up this canyon right here and it turns into a real narrow slot which slowly takes you all the way up to the very top of the Indio Hills and then you get a view of the chocolate mountains in the distance. So that's a look at the San Andreas Fault and the Indio Hills from uh, my perspective as my first introduction to the San Andreas Fault.